Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with the HIP mod as the Empire of Spain. In the last episode we declared a war on Galicia for their second last duchy, uh, which we are in the process of winning. We're about 37% war score right now, but um, we do have this army from Maghreb down here which we'll probably have to deal with. Um, otherwise we'll just keep sieging up there, so let's continue. And once all of our armies gather down here, I'll uh, merge them together. We'll probably just go fight him, I guess. This county is plains. Probably will have a river crossing, though. Actually, no river crossing from Niebla, so let's try and get them in from there. Should probably get some better characters in charge. Sure, I'll leave the center myself. I ain't scared. Okay, our vassal king is releasing a dungeon, and this uh, war with Genoa is over. So that's all good. Okay, we want a siege up there. I, I'm just going to take a slight detour to chase the Galician army out of that county. Okay, finished our training grounds. Oop, and our battle has started down here, let's see how it's going. Ah, uh, oh, he's leading the center on the other side. So it's king versus king there. No, wait. I wasn't leading the center, it was my vassal, the King of Castile. I guess I am scared. Uh, so we broke their right side, and looks like we're probably going to win this, though came a little bit close to being broken in the center there. That's fine, though. Um, guess we'll follow, and... Siege back this land. Oh, we're actually at 100% already. So we don't even need to do that. Let's enforce our demands. I think that may have um, affected our name placement a little negatively there. It looks a bit uh, weird, but that's okay. So, we did not personally gain any of the land here, um, we have three independent counts. Uh, we should have taken the duchy title though, uh, or not. We vassalized the duke, okay. Um, that means we just have two counts directly underneath us that should be under him. Uh, that's fine, he's going to be extremely annoyed until we give them to him. Usurped his title? I don't think we did. Anyway, uh, we'll transfer the vassalage. Uh, transfer and him. I think that should be all that he wants. That is the whole du jour duchy. Still not very pleased. That's okay though. Doesn't like my traits either. So only one duchy left to go in Galicia before we have the entire peninsula. Which is great. And we will be able to declare for that once our truce expires. Uh, she's involved in another Irish war, it looks like. Which is fine. Um, let's check on... Ask to Embargo. Let's just declare war on the Doge of Genoa. Um, I guess so. May as well do that. We don't have anything 
else particularly urgent to do while we wait for our truce, so yeah. Um, can we call in, perhaps? Uh, we can't call in the Holy Roman Emperor. I guess they probably have a truce since we just got out of that other war that they were in. Uh, we could call in Antioch or Croatia. That's fine, though. I think we'll just uh, deal with it ourselves. Why don't I use my personal levies? And I'll also raise the King of Castile's armies. Which should be uh, plenty. some tech from Constantinople, that's fine. And my granddaughter became a grey eminence. Okay. Let's betroth her to the King of Poland. Why not? I guess we're uh, sieging one of his trade posts there. Which is fine. Won't give us any war score, but that's not a big deal. Um, we won't burn down any trade posts though, still. And I'm just going to march this army overland to get to Genoa. Hopefully I won't have to deal with uh, boating them over to the island. It looks like uh, Pisa has their own army over there, so they can take care of that. Uh, let's see what kind of army they're landing over here, though, before we go anywhere. can take care of that. Yeah, so it is the King of Castile. He is a very good martial character. So we'll just leave him in charge. You see an enemy soldier cut off from the others while you can't tell who. It's clear they must be a highborn noble. Get closer, you realize the enemy soldier is this guy. Seeing you charge across the field towards him, he turns and flees. You better run. Alright, so that gives us 24% war score. We'll go ahead and head up to this county. My niece. Okay. A random character is fine there. My son, though? Let's see. Um, he's... Uh, pretty unlikely to be in line for the throne. I'll educate him myself, though, I guess. That's fine. Okay, we had a tithe. That's good. Yeah, we could actually assault this. We're mostly finished already, though. My grandson has a tender and loving soul, trusting everyone in the castle. Sure, let's make him kind. Could assault this one as well. And I think I actually will...
since it's a castle, it'll take longer. Yep, yeah, we'll take more prisoners. Oh, my grandson died of pneumonia. Um, okay, this was the guy who was in line for the throne. Okay, well, hopefully you uh, get busy making more sons. Word has reached me that my court chaplain has accused this guy of heresy. Nah, he's probably fine. Okay, King of Poland can marry my granddaughter. Uh, this one I can assault very quickly, so I will. Okay, let's head over to here and do some more sieges. A hostile siege down here, which we should probably do something about. Um, I just send my retinue down. They can probably take care of it. Once they get there, we'll probably raise some local troops to supplement them. Unless we've won the war by then, which we could have, uh, money continues to throw to flow through the trade post, which we are going to decline to burn down. Um, maybe we'll assault this one as well. To 72%. I'm not going to be assaulting this one though. You've been studying alchemy recently for the sole purpose of learning everything you can about poisons. Uh, you have learned the answers to important questions such as which poisons are the most potent, which are the most difficult to detect, and how best to guard against them. So we gain one intrigue. Which brings us from zero up to zero. Okay. Probably not the best ambition to choose, actually, but I suppose it's fine. Uh, let's just raise the troops here. Should give us uh, plenty of numbers. Though they'll probably be able to get out of there 21st. No, we're going to catch them. Okay. It is maintenance, but that's fine. Oh, and the doge himself is over here. We didn't capture him in battle though, which is unfortunate. That gets us to 99% though, so... This siege here should get us the rest of the way. Oh, we went down to 88. What happened? Hmm. Um, he claims he would be a better marshal. 32. Wow. I thought 30 was pretty good. Okay. I guess he'll do it. He'll even get up to 33. So we'll 
tell him to train troops in our capital. And on a courtesy visit to the abbot of a local monastery, you observe a group of monks translating beautifully illustrated books into my language. Sure, we'll buy one. Uh, we're only 96% from that siege, so I'm going to need to do one more. Not quite uh, at the level where we can siege that, or assault it, rather. I did see an army heading down this way somewhere, though. My son is turning into an arrogant little braggart. Pride goeth before a fall. Uh, I guess I'll just attack him with my retinue. And I got there on the 16th, uh, which is not time to, in time to catch them. Where are you headed? Almeria. Probably better to attack him in there anyway, since it's hills rather than mountains, so... We'll just continue to follow. Unless he's going to escape, which actually looks likely now. Where are you going? Oh, I suddenly lost a lot of troops there for some reason. Did he run out of money and couldn't pay his mercenaries? Yep, looks like that's exactly what happened. Sucks for him, I guess. Well, if we can catch this army, it should give us the remaining war score, if, or if this siege uh, finishes first, that'll do it too. Okay. We gain... 180-ish gold. Not too bad, I suppose. And a county has become Castilian. This one, I guess. Okay. Uh, let's maybe spend that money on upgrading something or other. Training grounds. Militia training grounds there, and barracks there, I suppose. Do need to uh, bring my troops back. Uh, while they're on their way, let's see how Antioch is getting on over here. No wars right now. Having a harsh winter, though. My prisoner is complaining about his dark cell. So I guess we'll um, let him rot, but actually try to ransom him and everyone else. So he's got a levy of about 10,000, not too bad. Not probably going to be able to take any of his land from the Byzantines or Jerusalem. Though the Byzantines aren't looking that strong themselves. Actually got them pretty evenly matched. Jerusalem is stronger. Um, apparently she didn't get ransomed, but she can just stay in the dungeons. He can do holy wars against the Muslims nearby, though, if he is so inclined. Okay, and in fact he's declared a du jour war on um, Jerusalem. 
which uh, seems like it is the worst possible option. Actually, it is probably better than uh, declaring a holy war, since if he declared a holy war and the cell just came in, he'd be pretty screwed. So maybe he'll call us in. My vassals are meeting to discuss the quality of my rule. Ah, Jerusalem is also attacking the Byzantines right now in a different war, so... I guess they'll be distracted. Uh, my son needs educating. We'll, I suppose, do it ourselves. Since our grandson died, we have a free slot for a ward. Seems like he's not going to call us in. We can offer to join. Sure, let's do that. Okay. So we can at least see what's going on, even if we don't necessarily go and help. I guess he's taking this whole duchy, which is... I guess all of the land that he's entitled to, that Jerusalem currently holds. Makes sense. Don't think he's gonna have a good time of it though, unless we go over and help, which I guess we'll do. Um, looks like the Knights of Santiago are in on this too. Um, so, possibly, uh, we might not need to help. How many troops do they have? Oh, not that many. Um, why don't I bring over the uh, 20,000 or so I have raised and help them out? Maybe enough boats? Uh, we are going to need more boats. And I think a few more. It's not going to be enough. It's going to be pretty close. Uh, we are a little short by a couple of hundred. Um, I suppose we could just get rid of uh, a few troops out of here. That is a retinue, so we won't be doing that. Let's disband this one. Okay. And these should fit on the boats. Alright, well, um, we're going to have to leave the transporting of troops over till the next episode, because we're just about out of time here, so thanks for watching, and join me again then.